Okay. Two things. COD loads. What to do. First thing you do when you got a COD load, if you can... Let them know that you're on your way and when you plan to deliver. Give them a heads up. Hey, I'm bringing you a COD unit. They're probably going to ask these few questions. What is it? What's the VIN number and how much? That way they can have a check ready for you when you get there. If you don't do these things, don't bitch when you get to the dealer and you had to wait two hours for somebody to cut you a check. Remember, at the end of the day, we bring them a product that they can sell, which then in turn needs to be replaced, which gives us a job. Anybody can bring them a trailer. So, anyway, call ahead, give them the VIN number, the last part of it, tell them how much it is. Generally, nine times out of ten, they'll have a check waiting for you. Now, from your company, it's been in my past experience, the best thing to do is find out what the mailing address is. Go to a truck stop, just about any truck stop on the planet. They will sell what's called trip pack. It's a little cardboard looking like envelope. Costs anywhere from $19.50 to $25, depending on where you're at in the country. You fill in the address, no P.O. boxes. You put your bill laden in there. You put your check in there. You seal it up. It is next day service with signature confirmation. This way, you'll have a receipt. You check on it the next day. And if your company says, hey, I didn't get this, you can tell them, well, at 1245 in the afternoon on whatever day, Nancy Kerrigan decided to sign for it. So that's the last place it was seen. And they can go to Nancy and they can figure out, okay, where is it? Second, ELDs. They're, we have an exemption. Yes, we all campers. Boats are not exempt. Don't care who you are. Don't give a shit. You never got caught. Doesn't fucking matter. In the exemption, it clearly states a recreational vehicle trailer. Doesn't say or trailer, on a trailer, in a trailer, next to a trailer. Recreational vehicle trailer where it's one set of wheels is on the ground. I don't know about you, but I've never been in a boat that has wheels. I mean, they got them Abfib cars. But that's a car and a boat but it has nothing to do with a trailer. Pay attention to wording, folks. Save yourself, somebody else, some time. Now, if you're a big advocate of, oh, I can haul a boat and I don't need one, that's fine. If you tell another driver, oh, you don't need it, I've never got caught with it, okay. Are you willing to pay that driver's fine if he gets caught? Probably not, because I asked a question and no one answered it. From all the Billy Badasses and Super Truckers who run boats without ELDs. It doesn't say recreational vehicles. It says recreational vehicle trailer. That's a camper, folks. Not a boat. A boat is on a trailer. It is not the trailer. So. And a boat trailer is just that. It's a boat trailer. It's not a recreational vehicle trailer. It is a boat trailer. These definitions are very specific. It's kind of like if you were reading the law, and anytime you come across shall, that doesn't mean you have the discretion to not do what that states. It means you need to do that. Um, for example, state of Oklahoma at one time, if your license plate was 60 days past, it states in the law, you shall impound the vehicle. Don't have an option. Got to take it. So, anyway, back to my ramblings. Use trip back for your COD loads. Need an ELD for a boat. Y'all be safe.